This has been in this family from 1976. My husband's uncle bought it from his sister. It was bought as a pizza shop, and then we started slowly changing it to completely Jamaican within a couple of years. You know, I am Jamaican Chinese. You know, I feel Jamaican first. But of course, we have our Chinese heritage, and we, you know, we very much keep that as part of our culture, especially in the food. Chinese from the Caribbean are, are of Hakka descent, and our Chinese Jamaican cooking is pretty much based on Hakka recipes. The Chinese Jamaican dishes we have here, you wouldn't get in a traditional Chinese restaurant. There are a lot of Chinese in Jamaica. All nationalities, you know, Jamaica's motto is, you know, out of many one people. We're all Jamaican, it doesn't matter what color. I have three grandparents, two grandfathers and one grandmother who are from China. My best guess is they came in the late 1920s, because my father was born in Jamaica, and my mom was also born in Jamaica, of a Chinese father and a, a mixed Jamaican mother. After slavery was abolished in the 1800s, uh, the Caribbean islands, the bigger Caribbean islands, had sugar plantations that needed to be worked. So they brought contracted labor from Asia to replace the slaves on the plantations. And then eventually these laborers brought their families from China to join them. We're just basically quiet people. We just, you know, like our, our, our heritage, our culture. It, it's, it's, it's a good place to be. To be an islander as well as to be in America. It's, it's a good mix and it's a good culture and um, life is good. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.